I set up my business as a memoir writer to recall the stories of ordinary people. My parents would certainly call themselves ordinary, but they lived through extraordinary times and how I wish I'd asked them more about their early lives, but I didn't and now it's too late. I'm very proud of the stories I've managed to capture for people. It's great for someone who's wanted to have a memoir but hasn't been able to do it themselves to finally have that book in their hands. And for the families too, they might have heard certain snippets but they don't know all the details or how it will fix together. So it's lovely for them too. There's some great stories here from childhoods going back as far as the 1920s into the 30s where people didn't have as much materially but that didn't mean they were unhappy. In fact, some of them had a fantastic time and some great adventures. Then into the 40s, some were children, some served in the forces as my father did. And then into the 50s, this lady here describes hearing rock around the clock for the first time. How exciting that was. Wearing those pointed shoes, big skirts and the teddy boys. And I can see that my own childhood is starting to pass into history, certainly as far as my daughters are concerned. No, no PCs, no mobile phones, black and white telly, only two channels. Mum, how did you survive? Well, actually, it's pretty good. If you'd like to see more stories, you can see them on my website where there are extracts to read.